Welcome back to the home stretch. We have an artist of the week in the studio, and no marks for guessing who that who our artist is because you saw her picture just now. It's my pleasure to welcome Nkiru Silvanus. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Of course, no marks for also. Well, you know she's an actress. I know that you know that, and she's the second child in a family of four. Um, born to Mr. Silvanos Muzo from Osisioma. Yes. <laughs> did I say that properly? Yeah, you did. In, Abba, <laughs> in Abia State. <clears throat> well, she um, went to um, primary school in that area and then she went to the University of um, Nigeria in Suka to study medicine. Yeah. <laughs> well, in no time at all, she realized that she wasn't cut out for medicine, that she preferred the arts, and off she went to go and study mass communication at the Enugu State University of Science and Technology. She joined the movie industry in 2000, and you'll probably remember her for her role in Felix Okoro's Out of Cage, as well as her role in A Cry for Help. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we we're going to do <coughs> medicine. Yes. Um, somehow, you don't look like the medicine type. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I was. <laughs> really? Yeah. So, I mean, where did that come from and what chased you away so fast? Well, um, I had my challenges when, uh, when I went to me um, study medicine at UNN. First, I was one of the best science students in Ahabi. I'm guest secondary school then. So, you know, growing up as a child, you always see the doctors, the nurses, professional course. Everybody wants to be a doctor. Yeah. And <laughs> my mom is a midwife. So seeing her in the hospital all the time, I, th I, I think that was actually what inspired me to study medicine. But two years into the course, I discovered that. You actually that. stayed two years? Yes, two years. I discovered that. Uh, I don't think I should be here because I found the better part of me loving to be on the camera. <laughs> Appearing before the TV, going for auditions, and it was affecting my studies at some point. So I said, instead of losing out in all, why don't I just concentrate on one, especially the one I love so much, and that is acting. So that was how I left medical school. To go and study mass communication. Yes, um, I had to now go through the process of taking his, uh, my um, exams again, go back to the books, read, and then wrote a fresh work and a fresh jump, got admission to study mass communication in Enugu State University. Okay, so when you finished, when you got your degree in mass communication, what, what did you then do? Well, <laughs> so far, uh, I haven't done anything with my certificate so far, but um, I've been in the um, entertainment industry doing movies and doing the best I can do for myself and my generation. You've been in so many films mm. over the years, and uh, what people always say is you have this role that seemed to be fairly <laughs> consistent. <laughs> Your crying skills. I know. <laughs> How do you manage? <laughs> well, <laughs> the truth is, I had to learn how to cry. Okay. How, how do people learn how to how fake to cry? cry? Yes, how to fake <laughs> the tears. <laughs> how, do you, how do you do that? Well, well, I, do I, I need to pinch you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a concentration thing. I started to learn how to concentrate so I can bring the tears out. So it suddenly started working for me. So if we say cry now, you are going to be able to switch, switch it on and cry. Uh, right now I'm in a very happy mood. <laughs> <laughs> I need the lines to put me in the mood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what will do, what kind of lines will like get you? Like emotional lines, uh, especially it has to do with the script and the story. Okay. Yeah. So when you are going through the lines and the script. You try to put yourself in that situation, thinking about what the particular person will be feeling like at that point. So those, the emotion comes on you, then you concentrate, the tears come. So your name is now Comfort, and <laughs> your husband has just been ambushed by <laughs> lovers. Don't make Boko me cry Haram. now, please. <laughs> Boko Haram and Boko has just taken your husband away. Your husband away. <laughs> and you're wondering, because the family mm. 
of your husband are now saying it is your fault. You are the witch in the family. Mm -hmm. How do you behave? Tell us. Uh, Show that's us. not emotional. <laughs> <laughs> It's not emotional enough. It's not, it's not emotional enough. enough. Your husband has been taking my book around. He's, he's laughing about it. <laughs> okay, I should have. I should have been looking very serious. Very, 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 I should very, have been very serious. Exactly. Now, another thing that a lot of people have said yeah. is the level of controversy yeah. that has been uh, peddled in the media mm. about you're single, you're not. Uh, which one do you sort of like? Because the tendency is to say, come on, guys. But Here's my... Um... No, no. I'm actually single, but I'm not certain. Okay. Yeah. That's... <laughs> there's a difference so between... The rumors are not there's, correct. There's, there, there's a, yeah, the rumors are not correct. I'm not married yet, but definitely I'm not certain. You know, there's a difference between being single and certain. And being single, I'm not certain. So that means okay, you have, you have been found. Yes, you're, you're spotted. There, there are who? <laughs> you're spoken so, for. Someone has spotted me. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, let me ask take you note, a very all of you out there. <laughs> She's taken. <laughs> She's spoken for. So if, if let me ask you a difficult question, would you be a second wife if somebody really nice come to you? Uh yeah. Um, it depends on who and the condition. Oh, you seriously what, consider it then? Yes, if 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 the situation is right and the person is a good person, because there are situations and conditions that can actually make you find the right person in the wrong place okay. and uh, at the wrong time. What's this one <laughs> that we're watching? Is this... Um... Ah, okay, my new movie. Oh, that's a new movie? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I wonder what, uh, what... What's it about? Um, the Voice. The Voice is a new movie I just... Um, Produced is my first uh, movie I'm producing. <laughs> so um, it's all about um, a young girl who has just been told that she's going to die. She has 90 days to live. And um, she was given predictions, things that would happen before uh, her death. And it began to unfold. Things began to happen. And she was about to die. She was going to die. Well, I don't want to tell the whole story okay. because I really so want people to pick up the movie. You know? What's it called? <laughs> did you cry in that yeah. one? There, uh, there are some emotional points in the movie that actually yeah, brought, almost brought out the tears. Oh. But, you know. <laughs> in other words, it didn't. That will be a first. I, 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 want, I want the people to cry for me this time. <laughs> So you you're waiting for them to cry for you rather this than time, you yes. crying. This time, yes. And if I don't get the tears out of them with this movie, that means I still need to go back and do another job. Okay. Is this your first production? <laughs> yes, it's the first movie I'm producing. What led you to want to produce? You're good as an actress. On quite a few people who have seen your movie will say. Yeah. Um, I want to combine the two because um, being in the entertainment industry for some time now, I felt there's a need for us who also complain a lot of times that we don't have very good quality productions, especially in terms of script writing, storytelling, and um, production. So we felt total production, like the equipment and all that. So I felt it would also be nice to go into producing while you also maintain your um, um, job as an artist, as an actress. So it now becomes a total package. You do your movies, you do for others, you set example, you try to do okay. exceptional jobs. Yeah. So I'm curious, what would you say is your strength? Production, <sighs> acting, script writing, directing, what would you say is your strength? My strength is writing. Really? Yes. When I pick up my pen and write, you won't believe it. I I get inspired when I'm writing. Like, I pick up my pen and I write, and I'm even would be shocked at myself that I was actually the one that wrote this. Did and you write the script? No, I didn't write this particular script. Okay. Um, someone else wrote Afe. Okay. Away, yeah. And what's that movie called, by the way? The Voice. The Voice, okay. Yes. The so, voice. what scripts have you written of note? Ah, <clears throat> in the past, I, I wrote quite a lot of movies for uh, scripts for the producers. You know, but most times when I write those days, I felt I didn't just want to attach myself into writing, so I sell outrightly. Okay. I say outrightly, but um, if I can remember, I did. I try to remember the title of one that actually has my name. About one or two that has my name on it. One is um, my blood. I wrote a script, my blood. Um, 
then produced by Magic Movies. And then there's another one that also has my name. I'm trying to remember the titles now. Yes, just <laughs> I can't remember. But so if in I do... terms of awards, you you would have won some, haven't you? Yeah, I've won awards. Um, been nominated also for some awards that I didn't win. <laughs> so um, I've been recognized with by um, the Bacock. Bacock is um, you know all, some most of us not the back. Cock in US, the Babcock in Nigeria, the, the um, University. Adventist University. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they gave me an award, and my state government then about um, four years ago or five years ago gave me an award as well, okay. um, alongside other artists. Okay. Now, and in terms of uh, the work you're doing now, mm -hmm. you're producing, you're still acting, mm -hmm. and you are working She's with the writing. state government. Mm -hmm. You're writing <laughs> and you're working with the state government. Yeah. What, what's the future of Nkiri Silvanus? Well, um, for me, I want a future where I'll be able to take over the entertainment industry. Wow, that's yeah, big. Yeah, <laughs> that's big. <laughs> well, it has a, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. Okay. That's a vision. That's mm -hmm. a dream. Uh, and um, I'm working towards achieving it. And at the same time, I want to build a future where I'll be able to put smiles and help a lot of people along the way. Okay, mm. all right. Um, how do you want to do that? Well, you have um, an NGO or uh, not, you're not, supporting not some yet. NGOs? I, I want to support, I want to work with NGOs, existing NGOs, and I want to set up programs and activities that would actually help to put smile on the faces of the young people and uh, poor people on the street. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, we have to wrap up. Uh, unfortunately, I wish we had a lot more time. It would have been good. Yeah. But uh, your, your work with the uh, Imo State Government, there's rumor that it's not going on, and then some people say it is still ongoing, is it? Yeah, the thing is, um, most times people tell your story without even hearing. Tell us your story. <laughs> <laughs> tell us your story. My story is I work with the governor, Rocha Sokorocha. What's your relationship like with him? Well, I'm like a daughter, really? like a member of the family. I started working with him even before he came to Imo State for um, the campaign. And luckily, unfortunately, the people believed in him and he was voted in. So I am more or less work with him. So you know, it's it not, it's not about the to, government. Does it make you want to cry when people allude or make allegations that there is more to it than meet the eye? Yeah, initially, yes, I felt really bad. But at some point, I realized that what really matters is what the people that matter to you think about you and not what the rest that doesn't really know who you are think about you. I think when they come in contact with you and get to know who you are, they have a different impression of who you are and what you do. Nkiru Sylvanus, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Nkiru. Thank you. I appreciate it. So that's all we have time for today. We've got to run out of here now and bring you a fresh edition next week. I'm Alero Edu, wishing you all the best through this week and next week. And just before you say anything, Coyote, mm. the World Cup has drowned Wimbledon altogether. Completely. Today is the ladies' final at 2 o'clock this afternoon, and the men are playing tomorrow. And guess who's in the final again? Roger Federer is yes. playing Novak Djokovic tomorrow afternoon. Make sure you watch. Yes, I'm sure a lot of people, I, myself included, will be watching that game. And then today we'll watch the ladies because Kvitova is He's playing like Eugenie she Bouchard. Will be, yes, it will be a big surprise. So for those who are tennis lovers, today is the day and tomorrow. And then World Cup, of course, will be coming to you. My name is Kadia Antonio, and here's Nikki Vivar. Come with us, and we'll have a great weekend.